today I am going to be talking about probably my favorite GIMP plugin called GIMP Resynthesizer. This is something you have to install in GIMP. Uh, if you just Google GIMP Resynthesizer and go to the first website, that's the home page, and you can download it for Windows or if you have Ubuntu like me then you can just use Synaptic and install it easily that way. Okay, now what this uh, plugin does is it helps you to remove elements from your photo. So I have a photo right here. This is a picture I took in Alaska. And uh, I liked the picture, but let's say we want to uh, have a focal point of just one of the girls and get rid of the other girls. It's really easy to do with GIMP Resynthesizer. So I'm going to use the free select tool and go ahead and zoom in and uh, select around the area I want removed. And with this tool, I'm going to go below uh, her legs quite a bit because if I don't do that then the plugin will probably make a mound uh, but let's zoom out and then to get to the plugin you go to filters map and resynthesize and we're just going to go ahead and leave the settings as they are press OK and what it's going to do is it will go to the surrounding areas and use that to fill in this area and um, so it didn't do a super great job I've seen it do a lot better but still it's pretty amazing um, you, you can see some areas where the girl obviously was but uh, I'll, I'll show you again uh, we'll probably have better luck this time it usually does a super fantastic job uh, where if you do something with like a sky for the background or something fairly consistent uh, it's pretty amazing at totally getting rid of the element that you want to remove so this time I'm going to go a little bit closer to the edge to, to hope for a better result alright we'll zoom out and we'll just go repeat resynthesize and do the, the process over again. And there, that that is pretty amazing. You can see that it created elements that weren't there, and it's much better than using the clone tool. Um, on this one, you know, there's a lot less of any trace that there was someone there before. So if it doesn't work the first time, just do it again. Um, and I'll show you some more examples. One thing it's absolutely perfect for is something with a fairly consistent background and gradients. So I'm showing, this is a picture of me jumping in Valdez, Alaska. And so I'm just highlighting this. And you can see that the top is a dark blue gradient and the bottom is light blue. So it's got a gradient that would be kind of difficult to do if you're using the clone tool you'd have to do quite a bit of tweaking but here you saw it took me just a few seconds to select myself run the program and it's absolutely flawless it's a perfect gradient so that's something it's really good for um, some things don't work perfect with it uh, for instance this and the reason I'll, I'll talk about is I'll just try to get rid of this 40 on the WD-40 can. And um, we want it obviously to just have the yellow background since I'm getting rid of this element. But because there's so much other stuff, there's this blue and there's the text, it's going to struggle a little bit more to get rid of just that. So what you can do uh, you can see there's some left over is just run the plugin a couple times or you know three or four however many it takes to get it done but we'll do it again and so it took two tries 
and it did a pretty good job. So one other thing I want to show is here's a picture from an air show I went to and you can see a tent right down here uh, kind of in the way you just want to look at the jets so you'll select that and I'll run resynthesize really quick and you'll notice here on the bottom it's got a bluer gradient and the reason it does that is because there's nothing underneath this picture it's nothing so there's actually an option we'll go to reshow and uh, you can see how you can make hors horizontally tileable or vertically and we'll take off vertically because we don't want that we'll press ok we'll do it again and it did a much better job that time and you can do the same thing for this banner uh, just to get rid of everything so that is it it's a great plugin to have it's definitely worth downloading even though the GIMP doesn't come with it uh, it will save a lot of time if you're working with stuff like this where you've got the sky in the background it does a fantastic job um, I don't know how it figures out everything to do but it really does do a great job so worth the download and there is the GIMP resynthesizer plugin for you